In the series of videos of World Secret Agencies and its operations, this would be our first video on CIA, the United States Intelligence Agency. The Central Intelligence Agency was established on September 18, 1947, with the signing of the National Security Act by President Harry S. Truman. The CIA was created to serve as the primary intelligence agency of the United States government, responsible for gathering and analyzing intelligence, and conducting covert operations. The first director of the CIA was Rear Admiral Roscoe H. Hillencoder, who served from May 1947 to October 1950. The CIA headquarters is located at the George Bush Center for Intelligence in Langley, Virginia, and sits on a total of 258 acres of land. It was the world's largest intelligence headquarters from 1959 until 2019, when it was surpassed by German's BND headquarters. The current head of the CIA is William J. Burns. He was sworn in on March 19, 2021. The first operation, Operation Northwoods. Operation Northwoods was a proposed false flag operation against American citizens that originated within the U.S. Department of Defense in 1962. Fidel Castro had taken power in Cuba in 1959 and began allowing communists into the new Cuban government, nationalizing U.S. businesses and improving relations with the Soviet Union, arousing the concern of the U.S. military due to the Cold War. The operation proposed creating public support for a war against Cuba by blaming it for terrorist acts that would actually be perpetrated by the U.S. government. The proposals called for CIA operatives to both stage and commit acts of violent terrorism against American military and civilian targets. CIA then decided to blame them on the Cuban government and using it to justify a war against Cuba. The possibilities detailed in the document included the remote control of civilian aircraft which would be secretly repainted as U.S. Air Force planes. A fabricated shoot-down of a U.S. Air Force fighter aircraft off the coast of Cuba. The possible assassination of Cuban immigrants, sinking boats of Cuban refugees on the high seas. Blowing up a U.S. ship and orchestrating terrorism in U.S. cities. Several other proposals were included within Operation Northwoods, including real or simulated actions against various U.S. military and civilian targets. The operation recommended developing a communist Cuban terror campaign in the Miami area, in other Florida cities and even in Washington, in which involved the bombing of civilian targets, which was to be blamed on the Cuban government to paint a false image of Fidel Castro and misinform the American public. The plan was drafted by the Joint Chiefs of Staff, signed by Chairman Lyman Lemnitzer and sent to the Secretary of Defense. However, President John F. Kennedy did not approve the plan and rejected its implementation, and fortunately none of the proposed plans were implemented. The main operations Northwoods proposal was presented in a document titled, Justification for U.S. Military Intervention in Cuba. The document was classified until it was declassified and made public in 1997. The second operation, Operation Paperclip. In the year 1944, the Allied forces advance into Germany during World War II. As World War II nears its end in 1945, U.S. military intelligence becomes interested in German scientific and technological expertise. During May 1945, Operation Paperclip officially begins, aimed at recruiting German scientists, engineers, and technicians. Key scientists targeted for recruitment include Werner von Braun, a leading figure in rocketry, and Arthur Rudolph, a prominent rocket engineer. Scientists and their families are secretly moved to the United States under false identities. The operation's purpose is to prevent German scientists from falling into the hands of the Soviet Union and to utilize their expertise for military and technological advancements. U.S. Army intelligence and other agencies conduct extensive background investigations on the scientists to assess their suitability for recruitment. Paperclip personnel are initially located at Fort Bliss, Texas, before being transferred to Huntsville, Alabama, to work on military rocket programs. In 1947, the U.S. government establishes the Joint Intelligence Objectives Agency JIOA, to oversee Operation Paperclip. The U.S. government provides employment contracts, security clearances, 
and housing for the German scientists and their families. In 1950s, Operation Paperclip expands to include a wider range of scientific fields beyond rocketry, such as medicine, aerospace, and chemistry. In 1958, the program is partially declassified, and some details of Operation Paperclip become public. Over 1,600 German scientists, engineers, and technicians are recruited through Operation Paperclip. The contributions of Operation Paperclip scientists significantly influence American space programs, including the development of the Saturn V rocket and NASA's Apollo missions. The third operation, Operation Red Eagle. Operation Red Eagle started in the 1980s during Ronald Reagan's administration. Covert support was provided to the Nicaraguan Contras, who were fighting against the Sandinista government. The Nicaraguan Contras were paramilitary groups composed of anti-Sandinista rebels, who opposed the government of Nicaragua during the 1980s. The Contras were primarily made up of former members of the Nicaraguan National Guard, supporters of the previous Somoza dictatorship, and other dissidents opposed to the Sandinista government. The CIA trained and funded the Contras, using proceeds from the illegal arms sales to Iran known as the Iran-Contra Affair. The operation involved guerrilla warfare tactics, sabotage, and intelligence gathering. During the conflict in Nicaragua, there were allegations and suspicions of U.S. involvement in the illicit arms trade, including the possibility of supplying surface-to-air missiles to the Contras. It is said that, U.S. provided weapons, ammunition, equipment, and supplies, to the Contras via aircraft. U.S. mined Nicaraguan harbors with explosives to disrupt the flow of maritime trade and impede the movement of Nicaraguan military vessels. The United States initially denied involvement in the mining, but evidence later surfaced linking the operation to the CIA. Operation Red Eagle faced significant controversy and criticism for U.S. involvement in the Iran-Contra scandal. During George H. W. Bush's administration, the U.S. Congress passed legislation in 1990 known as the Boland Amendment, which effectively ended direct U.S. support to the Contras in Nicaragua. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to our channel.